breaking news surrounding new body camera video. You're seeing it right now, released in last week's deadly officer involved shooting in Fort Worth. Yeah, two people died in that shooting on the night of the 4th of July. Our Andrea Lucia has been following this story for us today. She joins us live from Fort Worth. Andrea. Yeah, a Fort Worth police officer and an arson investigator were out looking for illegal fireworks the night of the 4th of July when they say they happened upon a block party. According to Chief Neil Noakes, they saw uh, what appeared to be a man who was injured walking away from another man who was holding a gun. We're going to show you the officer's perspective as he got out to investigate. And keep in mind, the first shot you're going to hear, according to police, uh, did not come from the officer. <laughs> Frame from a freeze frame from that same body cam video shows the man the officer fired at, identified by police as Billy Smith. Chief Noakes says he was pointing a gun down toward a man on the ground who Noakes says had been shot, stabbed, and beaten. As this was happening, the arson investigator reported seeing another man, identified as Branche Minter, holding a gun and hearing two shots fired. That investigator and the officer both fired at him, and both Smith and Minter were killed. At least three others at the party are believed to have been shot as well, but Chief Noak says it is not clear yet who shot them. We want to be able to answer all the uh, questions that may be out there when we release the video, but we also know that there are those out there, including the family, that are demanding to see it, and we have said as a department that we're going to be transparent and that we will get the video out as soon as we can, and that's what we're doing today. Yeah, police say there is still a lot they don't know, including what started the fight that night. They still are looking to speak uh, to one of the people they believe was shot at the party, uh, and they are still hoping to get information and video from witnesses who were there at the scene uh, to be able to piece this all together. Eventually, all of this evidence will go to the district attorney's office, who will present it to the grand jury to determine what, if any, charges are warranted. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. Andrea, thanks for walking us through that video and the process for what's next.